And joining me today is my new little buddy. Yes, be jealous, be very jealous. I have a miniature robot from Lost in Space that I acquired at Fandom Fest this past weekend. That was quite the experience. I really loved meeting all the people that I did there. It was fabulous. There's a lot of flap about stuff that went on there, a lot of disgruntled people, I guess, and that sort of thing. But my, um, I just kind of kept to myself and my experience with the folks that I met was absolutely wonderful, very enlightened and a lot of really cool people with some very bright futures. As we always start out these videos with the Void of Course Moons for the week. And Void of Course Moons are times where the moon is not really making any aspects to any planets and it's kind of drifty and floaty and we're not very clear necessarily during those moments. So watch out for impulse buys and that sort of thing. You don't want to, you know, it's kind of like a Mercury retrograde a little bit. You don't want to make any major purchases or anything like that during those periods of time. But it's not the end of the world if you do. Just usually what happens is if you buy something during a Void of Course Moon, you end up really not, you know, like, well, why did I go and buy that, you know, a few days later. <laughs> it's Monday, our first one is going to be from 2.49 a.m. to 9.58 a.m., and then the moon is going to enter into lovely Leo, and we're going to talk all about that new moon in Leo uh, very shortly. Tuesday, the moon will be void, and Rudy's singing in the background there. Uh, Tuesday, the moon will be void from 5.51 p.m. to Wednesday at 11.57 p.m. So that's a really long void, of course, moon period. And then the moon's going to enter into more structured and organized Virgo. Um, and finally, Friday at 6.05 a.m. to Saturday at 9.08 a.m., uh, the moon, we and that's another very long one there, notice that, the moon will uh, be void, and then it's going to enter into lovely, balanced, harmonious, what? Libra, yes, you guessed it. So, this week, as I said, features this beautiful uh, new moon in Leo and uh, also an opposition, which is an out of balance aspect um, between uh, Jupiter and the planet of excess and Pluto, which rules power and control. So, um, and really, you know, Leo is creative and fun loving, and we talked a lot about Leo's last, uh, last video, but it's also can, it also can be a lot of drama, and with some of these sign changes and things that we have going on this week, it, that's the very likely outcome here. So um, we also have a change of signs for Mercury, our planet of communications. And so um, so kind of this week, I'm feeling that, that it, it could very well be one of those weeks where anything that's been brewing underneath for a while can really come to the surface. And um, anything that we have emotional connections to, deep emotional connections to, it can explode with some ferocity is the word that came to mind. So really be cautious this week. Um, think carefully and state your case confidently and with a very, you know, as much detachment as you can when you're trying to state your feelings or your needs this week. And again, don't let things stew because um, by the end of the week, you may find yourself in an even bigger, you know, Jupiter is excess, right? Um, in a bigger mess than you originally intended. So if you've got something really important to say, you know, just if you can't handle it with the person face to face without getting very extremely emotional or without them getting emotional, you got to think about that too, then you might want to just put it off until next week. Write about it this week and, you know, write the letter, but don't send it. <laughs> is by sign what I got for you this week Aries your creativity and passion is burning hot you may find yourself declaring love for a very special person Taurus use the new moon to set your goals for a much needed job change or major move uh, this is the time now to, to get that in line Gemini plans with other creative geniuses such as yourself are going to ratchet up now. New connections are right there in your grasp, people that you need to move things forward for you. Cancer, if you've been afraid to go it alone due to financial fears, it's really time to assess what you're actually worth. How much are you emotionally wasting in this situation, whether it's a job or a relationship or you know, a friendship? So put a price tag on that. And I think you'll see that it's maybe time to move on. Leo, health needs that have been ignored are not going to be silent anymore. This week, you're going to start to really feel it. So um, on Tuesday, again, new moon energy is perfect for starting, putting, planting the seeds for something that, you know, to, to move forward with. It's great energy for that. So um, 
start that new diet, exercise regimen, whatever. And it's also a really good time if, you, if you're one of these people that needs somebody to kind of keep you boosted along there to keep you going. Um, this is a good time to find a fitness buddy or a personal trainer, somebody that will work in partnership with you. That's going to be a good theme for you this week. Virgo, break down the walls of judgment and fear and notice above and beyond everything else this week what your dreams are trying to convey. Your dreams are your subconscious giving you messages, very, very important messages. So even if you feel like kind of pulling back and, and spending you know more time by yourself, do some self-analyzation while you're, while you're being that way. Don't just veg in front of the TV. Pay attention to the little things, the little subtle messages that you're getting. Libra, an upset at work may force you to change some of your long-term goals. But that's okay. What you want to do is get a hold of a group of friends that are really supportive of you and brainstorm with them about the things that they see that you might be able to do or changes that you might be able to make. It's a really great week for collaboration like that. Scorpio, if it isn't working this week, screams for bold new career moves. Take some chances, then prepare for the flood of responses. It's a, it's going to be a busy week if you actually do that. Think just again, you know, to use a really corny phrase, think outside the box. Build in some quiet time though, because you're going to need that as as you change your energy. There's going to be more flow coming to you. Sagittarius. News from a distance or if you're traveling this week is going to bring you an incredible new perspective. So you definitely want to take that, that class or that trip that's going to expand your horizon, especially any Sagges this week that might be traveling to like a, a workshop or a seminar, whether it's for work or, or you know if you're an entrepreneur for your business, whatever. Your mind is going to be expanded. This It's going to pay off big time. Capricorn, buying or selling a house or making investments this week, you get what you want. You just have to state what it is you want with confidence and it's going to be easier than you think. You already know what you're doing. Aquarius, collaboration is only possible if you compromise. So you want to see the other person's point of view and allow them to share their thoughts and really listen. Pisces, Independence versus the urge to merge has you just wanting to run away. There's a balance point in there and it's going to be difficult for you to find it. Um, you've got a, and you've got a lot of energy this week to accomplish a lot of tasks. So you might want to stick to just the things that you can take care of, whether it's cleaning out your closets or organizing your office at work or whatever it is. Um, tasks are going to be much better for you than, than uh, socialization, I guess. Um, and really remember that because friends are going to be pulling at you a lot to go out and play. So you want to just keep everything in balance this week. And that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you want to know more about how these influences impact you personally in your own chart, because again, this is sun sign and ascendant only, and it's general, but you all have a unique chart and all of these things impact you differently. So if you want to know what that is, then contact me, Susie Carr Wright, AKA the Cosmic Cupcake at astrogirl12.com. And we will schedule an appointment. I can do appointments phone, Skype, email. I say this all the time, guys. You know this. I do a bazillion phone readings now a week. A lot of you are quite aware of that. Because for those of you that don't know, you do not have to be in the Nashville area to see me. If you are in the Nashville area, I am available on Mondays at Goddess in the Moon from 2 to 7 and at my own office um, in the Donaldson area the rest of the week. So lots of ways to reach out to me, lots of ways to get a reading. And that's going to wrap it up for this week. I wish you all a sweet and delicious week and I'll see you next time. Bye.